Alright guys, how you guys doing? In this video, I will be reviewing the Dahon Bike Mount for the iPhone 4. I've used this every single day for the past few months and it has been a saviour. Absolutely great little piece of kit for your iPhone and if you happen to be a road cyclist, then this is a must. I haven't tried it out on the mountain bike side, so don't take my word for it. The installation is very, very simple. Everything that you need to install it is supplied with the package. And by everything, I really mean an Allen key to tighten up. That's it, that's it installed. The build quality is rock solid. It's quite sturdy, it doesn't move. Inside where your iPhone 4 sits is a rubber setting, quite thick, it's quite nice. And that is just, you know, making sure your iPhone doesn't get scratched inside or doesn't move about inside. There's plus and minus to this. You only get two of these rubber settings in the package, so if you lose it, then that's you pretty much, you know, gone. The same problem was with the 3GS version which I had about a year ago. They only gave you one and I lost that so in essence that was kind of rendered useless. But you get two of this, one of which I've already lost. Um, you know, but it's quite nice, you can actually move it about to portrait and landscape mode. Uh, and the whole purpose is really so you have your iPhone 4 in front of you, you've got apps such as Copilot which has dedicated cycle routes, or you've got Runkeeper telling you how many miles you've done, and generally telling you what the pace is, or if you want to listen to music then you can. You've also got a, and this is the part where I find quite pointless, a rear camera fitting. Yes it's there, it's nice to have it, but really come on. Do you really want to, you know, be taking a video or pictures of your tyre? Because you can't really move it about. It would be nice if the kind of phone just came up, you know, so you can record what's in front of you, i.e. the cars. So if you're getting abused by drivers, which those of you who are road cyclists, you know, if you do get abuse. So if someone's abusing you and some, you know, throwing stuff at you, you can easily just put the actual iPhone up and just record that video uh, and the whole thing's captured on your phone rather than, you know, there's potential in there, but at the moment it's kind of pointless to be, you know, at there. Now, the main thing is your guys are going to be asking, well, what about the weather? You know, staying in Scotland, you don't get, you know, much nice weather. And here we are. The good, good old water test, the hose, and uh, you know the iPhone 4 is in there, and boom, bam, it's uh, you know rock solid. The water doesn't get through; it's weatherproof, locked in there nicely. You know, I had the 3GS version to this as well about a year ago, as I said, uh, and this fourth version which I have for the iPhone 4 is more. It's double protected, so it's got kind of a double lock, so making sure if you do go over a pothole, which the roads of Glasgow is notorious of knowing, officially uh, the worst roads in the UK, uh, then, you know, if you go over a pothole, the iPhone 4, your or, your, you know, your iPhone 3GS or your iPhone 3G won't pop out or it won't, you know, just fall in the road and boom. So it's really good that way. I'd highly recommend it if you are a road cyclist. I will leave a link in the description. But guys, if you are using Dahone's products, if you're using this bike mount, or if you're using just any bike mount for the iPhone 4 or 3GS or 3G, leave it in the comments below, leave a video response, let me know how it's getting on. This is my personal favourite one, I've been using it for the past few months and it's never kind of let me down. Guys, as always, I will see you guys in another life. Cheers!